Hey guys, somebody asked me to do an internal explanation and to show you the workings of the MTD transmission that I actually uh, brazed the other day. So let me show you. So here it is. I fixed it right here. This is completely snapped off. Um, one wheel attaches here, the other wheel attaches over here. This is what your engine turns up here. Here's your braking system. It's just a bunch of screws to bolts to remove each half. And in here there's a couple needle bearings that this just kind of rides on and those can go bad but other than that there's nothing up here. So right now it's in neutral. Um, I'll rotate this clockwise the whole time. We will shift it into probably reverse. Nope, that's forward. So this is forward. And you'll notice that the, the main gear is turning and the wheels are spinning. I'm returning this the same way. Forward, reverse. So this just drives both of these gears at the same time. One in forward and one reverse. Okay. And this is your shifting fork, which just moves it forward and reverse. There's little detents in it, little grooves. And that's controlled by a little spring and a ball right here. They just sit in there and apply spring pressure so it has three positions, neutral, forward, and reverse. And what you got going on here is this shaft right here. This is just a bearing. This is actually free floating on here. Just spins on there, nothing nothing holds it. Here you have a you're actually your gear selector and this is locked to the shaft and it has teeth dogs on it. So this is locked to it with these splines and that splined. And then this is also just free floating, does nothing. And then your main teeth right here are fixed to it. So this actually grabs onto there and turns there. So what you're doing is since this is locked to the shaft and this is locked to the shaft over here, when you engage this over into the grooves on this, it locks those together. So this whole assembly is locked to this side, locks it in, there we go, and now this whole assembly will turn this, and this one's free spinning, and the cams just, or your, your gears just spin in that freely, and this one's locked to it, and when I switch that over, This is locked to it now, and this one's just free spinning. And then inside here you have just a, a typical differential that allows one wheel to spin and one not, you know, so you can make turns and, and stuff like that. Both spin together. This is where the brake attaches to, too. So the brake is connected to this rod, which is directly connected to this gear, which is directly connected to this, which is connected to the drive shaft through differentials and I'm not going to go into the differentials because that's just a completely that's a whole nother video just doing differentials you know they're all virtually the same you got two gears you got a gear like this hooked to this shaft and this shaft there's a spline that goes all the way through so you got a gear here a gear here and then these coming in has a gear like this and a gear like that and they all they all mesh with each other and run but I'll show that in a different video sometime quick close up on on everything well there you guys go just a quick video on the inside of a MTD single speed transmission that transmission right there it's only a single speed and the reason why is this is um, for, they've used the same design from the 80s all the way up to present it's their um, their CVT transmission so they have a constant velocity like a snowmobile um, set of pulleys in front of that in the middle of the tractor that actually is one pulley gets smaller, one gets bigger, and that's such a, ba you know, it's a really basic system, but it's amazing what it can do, but you only need one speed to the back end driving the whole thing and giving you forward and reverse, so thanks for watching, um, rate, comment, and subscribe, thanks guys, see you soon, bye.